Hi everyone, this is Kirtish and today I am going to help you how exactly you can create a custom header and a footer menu and you can add with your WordPress blog. Likewise, if you are really interested in how to tips around WordPress and any digital marketing tool, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I do offer such kind of content in a very easy and simple steps. Without any further delay, let's go to the screen and discuss everything, what exactly the menu is and how exactly you can customize with your existing blog. Here on the screen, just take an example. This is my blog called Blogging Voice. First, understand what exactly the menus are. Number one, here you can see at the top of my website, there are certain menus and this is known as a primary menu or in another word, we call it as a header menu. On another side, if you will scroll down at the bottom, you will also find certain pages, which is my which is ideally known as a footer menu or a footer options, right? So if you would like to create a header menu or a footer menu, I will take you through these steps, which you can easily follow and create yourself. But here, one thing you have to understand is what exactly this menu contain. If you go to bloggingos.com and simply click to start a blog, you will find out a blog post. If you go to the article category, you click any of this, you will figure out these are the certain categories which are been mapped with a certain blog post. On the another side, if you go to the course section, you will figure out if you click to this, it will route you to another external website where I'm selling my online courses. So with this, there you will find different, different options, including a pages, website, posts, categories and lot many other things I can link myself as part of a menu if something similar you want or maybe anything whatever you need I will tell you exactly how to do that so let's head over to the WordPress backend and I will show you how exactly I've done that so that you can do something similar number one first you have to log into your WordPress dashboard once you'll be within you can create certain categories so you can link up the blog post in case you want for that go to the post and there is an option called categories Click to the categories and create the categories around your niche to which you'll be linking your blog post. Let's say I will go there and type here blogging is one category, add a new category. Then we'll go to the next one, which is affiliate marketing. Let's say this is another category. I will click to add a new category. Let's say the another category, what I need is a YouTube and then add a new category. Anyways, I forgot to tell you, currently we are trying to optimize a menu option for this website called teachku.com. This is a dummy website with a dummy imported content and now i would like to customize this menu options which came by default with the theme and at the bottom you can see this is the options currently available so by the end of this session we'll be having a different options as you can see on the screen something similar you can create yourself so what to do first thing is i have created myself certain categories to which i can link a blog post and i can have a category over here where the user can navigate to those certain options that is number one. So first what I did is I have created this category. Now let's jump over to the menu options and we'll be creating two different menus. For that, go to the appearance. There is an option called menus. Once you will click to the menus, within that you will find such a blank screen. That means first we have to create two menus. One is a primary menu and second one is a footer menu. So I will give you here a certain name. You can type any name, whatever you want. So let's say I will type here as a primary menu. You can give your name, but just remember so that you will be aware what will come up when you will set this as a menu. So here I set it here as a primary menu. I gave this name as a primary menu. Then what I did is display location where you would like to display this option either at the footer or at the bottom. So just type here, like I wanted to make it as a primary menu, then click to cre create menu. So the moment when you will click to create menu, automatically this menu option has been created. Now, within this menu, whatever you want, you can link yourself, such as the blog post or the categories or a certain link. In our case, let's say I will link one page of my website. And for that, either these are the options will be by default display, or you can go to view also all other pages of your website will be display here. In my case, I need a home and let's say I need about both of them I wanted to add in the menu so I will click to add to menu why I did that because if you need something like home and you need something like about then these are the pages right if anybody click to home they can directly navigate to the home page that's the advantage if anybody wanted to know about your business they can go to the about section which is a certain page of your website where user can understand what your website is all about likewise any page of your website not only that, if you go to the affiliate program, that is another page which I created. But likewise, whatever the pages you would like to add in your menu, simply select from the pages section. That's done. You can 
click to that option now let's go to the post let's say you have, you have a certain blog post which uh, which is kind of a pillar post for your website which you would like to link at the top of a header then let's say this is the post i want then i will click it add it to menu so now another option has been added something similar let's say if an external site or a certain blog post you would like to link just provide the link out there let's say i will type here whatever my website supremecampus.com okay and then after i will provide you a text which is let's say course so this course will display as part of a menu but it will be linked with this link so i will add that into the link now the categories whatever you have created let's say we wanted to add it go to view all all the three categories what we created you can see out here so likewise we have added all these options in the menu well you have an option to customize what exactly visible to the user so let's quickly customize them i don't want to change any text what exactly displays part of a home home means home but for this one this looks a bit longer so i can click it and i can make changes with this top 10 contact form plugin so let's i will type it here as a best plugin so what happen is when this will be displayed in the menu it will show as best plugins but at the back end it is linked with this blog post clear likewise you can make any changes whatever you want i want affiliate marketing instead i want just affiliates you can type it here and then you can done with that simply once you are done with that click to save menu and likewise we are done with the setup of a primary menu simply click it and you will figure out okay this menu options has been created another thing is you will be having here an option to drag and drop in case you wanted to make any change or alignment if you want affiliate at the top you can do that if you want about at the end you can do that something similar let's say if you see here if you go to this section there is another section called seo under wordpress and hosting if something similar you want you can go back and you can make the alignment changes something like this okay so that option will also be there you can do yourself the another bit is let's say instead of this you can create here a category log un categories simply type here un categories click to add menu and then after what happen is the un categories will be added here and you can give this a certain name such as article so this is going to be the name of your category now just go up and now under article if you need affiliate simply drag and drop if you need a blogging something drag and drop something like that the alignment you can change yourself under a primary menu click to save menu options and here you can see our primary menu is ready now let's head over to the secondary menu once it is done come back and just there is an option called create a new menu click to that another one is make sure it has been saved properly saved otherwise that error will appear so ensure it has been saved properly go to create a new menu and now the way we did with the primary just set here call footer menu now this is the name we have given and we can set it up here as a secondary menu or off canvas or anything just simply type here like current set to primary menu so we can set it here as a secondary menu create a menu likewise we are setting up a footer menu now under a footer menu what you need ideally we are linking our certain blog post or the page so for time being what i will do is i will link certain pages so i will go back to the pages section and let's say i need a contact page and bastille pages needs to be added as a footer menu so i added them and let's see whether this will display at the bottom or not simply click to save menu likewise we have created one primary menu and another one as a secondary menu clear now the secondary menu name we have given is a footer menu remember so this time is to make those menu as a header and a footer menu for that there are different process there are different ways you can do that but the easiest way is go to the widget section or maybe you can go to your theme section in case you are using a certain theme so for time being i will go there to the widget section which is common to every website no matter what sort of a theme you are using as you will go to the widget section there is a right hand sidebar there is a left hand sidebar and there is an option called header header represent the header of your website just scroll down and then click to this one and then type here a call menu the moment when you will set here a menu there is an option called navigational menu and then you can see you can select which one you wanted to make as your header menu so i will choose here a primary menu and click to update the moment when you will click to update go back to your web website and refresh it you will figure out all the menu options whatever we created the best part is under article you can see now we have affiliate and blogging still youtube is there right so if you wanted to bring that youtube under article category you know how to do that is it clear so likewise we have added here a header menu something similar you can do yourself the another bit is we wanted to make changes with the footer one that what you can do here just scroll down at the bottom you will find here a footer bar go and click to footer bar and there is this option called navigational menu simply click it and select in that there is an option called footer menu because that is the one we created click a footer menu 
Click to update and let's go back and see. At this moment, we have a privacy policy terms and contact page. So as we refresh this page and then after whatever the settings we applied, we are expecting that to be applicable on the website. So if I will scroll down at the bottom, you can see we have now contact and best deals. That's what we added as part of the category, right? So likewise, in the footer, you have the options to add any menu as a footer option. But that's not the limitation out here. If you go back to the widget section under a footer bar, if you click this, you can add something similar, a post or a link or something. Let's say if I will type here as a post, you will figure out all the latest blog post link will be there. Something similar, if you would like to link here with an external website or images or something, you can browse all and all these categories will be open to you to link as a footer bar as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this session and if you would like to learn more in the future, make sure you subscribe this channel. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching this one.